Hi, my Taurus and Taurus rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com here today to do houses one through six for March 2020. Tarot and Oracle card reading. Thank you so much for being here with me. Let's get to it. Now, the first card in the first house was a little startling. At the beginning of March, you could have some sort of shocking event that rocks your world or you feel like the rug is being pulled out from under you. This is the falling tower in traditional tarot. The SHIT could be hitting the fan in the first week of March. Now, this card has shown up for more zodiac signs than I have ever seen it, but not with the falling tower. Although it did come up with Pisces. So if you have Pisces rising uh, or you're watching for your rising, if you have Pisces significant in your chart, go watch it. Or if you're Pisces, if you have a Piscean partner. So what this card says in a nutshell is you, this is just the beginning. You are blossoming. Have patience with yourself. And furthermore, if you are learning to ride a bike, it's a metaphor, and you fall on your face and you scrape your chin, it is going to be important to get back on the bike and try again later. It is not time to quit. So if this is something, an event that you had planned that didn't go the way that you expected, that went south, it's going to be time to do it again later, okay? And try not to worry about it too much. Just keep saying your protection, by all means. It can't hurt, okay? What's in your second house of finances? Rest and rejuvenate with your money. Okay, so this tells me it's not time to make any rash or harsh decision, decisions with your money or move your money right now. It's best to wait and see what happens here. You are getting divine guidance here. Pay attention. Dana is the high priestess card in this deck, and it doesn't come out very often especially when I'm doing 12 house spreads and all the cards that I pick. I don't pull this card very often. So if the intuitive message that you're getting is take a time out, don't do anything with your money just yet and wait, then great. But this is going to be different from for every person, for every Taurus. If the message that's coming to you is that you need to make a move and changing how you make money or changing something around about your money it could be change in spending habits. After this period of rest, then pay attention to what the message is, write it down, and then implement it when you can, okay? Now, your third house brother or sister, they feel like they're at a fork in the road and it's time to make a major decision. However, the energy is scattered and it is not a good time to make a decision. It's better to kick this decision can down the road if they can. If they can't, it's important that they get a reading from someone they trust. It doesn't have to be me, but some reader that they trust that makes accurate predictions. All right. Una is here to say easy does it. Everything is occurring to, in perfect time and don't try to force it to happen here. here okay. You may need to be the bearer of that message for your brother or sister. Now, the card for the fourth house, remember fourth house is regarding where you live or the people that live with you because that affects your household too. Also, for some of you, could be talking about your father. Moving on means you're coming out of the darkness into the light. Perhaps your home has been under some sort of renovation or repair and it's, it's almost at its final stage or perhaps you are in the almost final stage of moving and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Same is true for those of you who have um, family members, relatives that you live with who live with you. Perhaps the winner has not been so great in communicating with them or, you know, having cabin fever and being in the same house together. And now in March, the weather may break a little where you can go outside or get out and you're feeling better about this. Also, your father may be feeling like this. He's turning the corner, a new leaf in a better direction. Green Tara is here to say, start delegating 
it is time to ask for help in your home. Help with the household chores, taking out the garbage, the vacuum uh, cleaning situation. It's important not to do all of these things yourself. Everyone has to have their own list of chores and pull their own weight, Taurus. Okay? Your fifth house, base chakra. This is your house of fun and this is the card of not having any fun. That's a problem. Now, you're definitely going to want to fix this. However, you're going to have to be in a good feeling mood to do it. If you are feeling a little under the weather, it's important to get your health in order first. We're going to look at your health in just a second in the sixth house here. But in the fifth house, you did pull Mother Mary, expect a miracle. So this tells me if you do put yourself out there, especially those of you that are single, if you put yourself out there, you know, not necessarily on dating websites. I don't really like those, but some people meet them. I mean, I can't. I can't totally poo-poo it, okay? If you try to go out and have fun, Mother Mary says expect a miracle to happen. You could be at the right place at the right time. You could walk into a convenience store. I mean, Mother Mary is serious now. This is not a little deity, Like, she's the big one. She's the big dog. You could walk into a convenience store, get this intuitive hit that you need to buy a lottery ticket, and you pick out the one that appeals to you, and then you win some money. Like, it's that kind of message, okay? So make sure you're heeding that advice. Now, what's in your sixth house of work and health? You have sacrifice. Sacrifice is a lot of hard work and not really getting anything back in return. What is the message, the advice card in the goddess deck? Hathor. Hathor talks about receptivity, being open to receive that which you desire, that which you deserve. Some of you may have been pushing it away from you because you've been so negative about work. Okay, or this could be a health situation. You could have been pushing away the answer because of your negativity. But the bottom of this Hathor card says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And you say, well, Sandra, how do I allow myself to receive? It's as simple as closing your eyes and visualizing your heart chakra opening. That is the major receptive point in the body that I have noticed, okay? Now, we're going to do houses 7 through 12 in the extended, but before we go there, I always like to look at your tarot cards to see what signs are around my Taurus friends in their house of relationship. You pulled the Three of Wands, which is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You pulled the Ace of Swords, which is air, aqua libra and gemini and you pulled the world card now the world card is always depicted in the four corners do you see that all four elements so this could be any sign of the zodiac so unfortunately i can't really narrow it down this time to three uh, elements or three signs it could also mean that you have and this is sort of like the Wheel of Fortune card in this instance where there's all four elements, it could mean that you have a lot of people that are coming at you as far as a relationship, especially those of you that are single. And let me just give you a sneak preview at your seventh house. For those of you that have ex situations, there could be something coming up about your ex this month in March. Just saying, can't rule it out. Many blessings to all of you. I'll see you in the extended if you want. If not, I'll see you next time in the extended. Don't forget, we're going to look at your relationship in depth. We're going to look at your eighth house. It talks about your intimacy, your taxes, your legal matters, your contracts, the source of your significant other's income, if you have that. We're going to look at your ninth house of travel and school. We're going to look at your 10th house of career and your mother. We're going to look at your 11th house of your children or your best friends. And we're going to look at your 12th house, which talks about the future, which comes up in June. Many blessings to all of you. Take care.